Greetings and hello to part three of this tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, we will start to care about blogging. So we are going to create our blog template and I'm going to show you some neat tricks you can use um, to increase your SEO. So um, let's start working. Today we will need two plugins. I'm going to show them to you. Um, we need Sassy Social Share and Table of Content Plus. And with these two, we will create um, a Table of Content section and a section to share our blog posts. And especially the Table of Content section will increase uh, your SEO. So let's start with it. What we want to do, uh, let's go to posts. We currently have here our test posts. Let's delete what we don't need. So this is currently our test post, hello world. So this is that. Um, it absolutely looks horrible right now. Um, and especially it doesn't even fit a single bit in our design we have uh, created our page in. So that's what we want to do now, right now. Uh, to do that, we go to Brizzy and templates. Currently there are no templates. So let's create a new one and we call this one blog post. Um, so include posts all, that's fine. And hit publish. Now we have set our blog post. Oh, I forgot um, posts. All is fine, but you need to click the add button. So it only works if you see the red delete uh, sign. So let's update again. And now we can edit with this thing in Brizzy. So we start with our basic blocks, uh, our header, of course. Then let's have a look into our saved blocks. This one is our basic um, hero introduction to our post. So we want to keep that. And uh, in, the, in the lower part, we have our content. So let's see, this one looks nice. Let's grab this one there. And last but not least, we have a global blog with our footer. So we first of all have to match these colors. Uh, let's do that. Lower part, we need the dark one. Yeah, that looks better. So then we don't need the image here. So let's delete that. And this now is our content area. So we don't need all this. What we want to see here is our content. So let's take a look. Sidebar posts, breadcrumbs, post content, there it is. So uh, you also see, uh, welcome to WordPress, blah, 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 blah. Um, Brizzy always shows you with these elements, the latest blog post you created. <clears throat> so you get an idea how everything might look. So we don't need the second part here. Um, let's choose here, hashtag post title, and I want this one centered. I'm using the hashtag here because um, I have the, the possibility, for example, to change colors or for example, to change the HTML tag just in case I need to. Um, there also is um, an element for that. You can find it here, post title it is called. But if I'm going to drag that in, you see I'm, I'm a little bit more limited from, from what I can do. And I'm a control freak, so I want to work this thing exactly how I want. So, um, next thing here, 
is uh, let's add our, our meter stuff. So where is it? Post info, I think it is. Yeah, perfect. And to make it fit to our design, let's bring some color in. And I want this a little bit larger. Okay, this looks good. Then let's add a line. And a nice theme color. And below that, <coughs> I also include our um, excerpts. <coughs> but to do that, I'm going to duplicate this one and bring it up here. So I don't need you and you go in here. And there. I trigger this down. And I'm adding the excerpts up there. Um, for reasons for Google. Because um, it's fact that even if you are going to use an SEO plugin, um, and the plugin only suggests to Google what you want to see and it doesn't force it. So I noticed this really works amazingly well if I have um, the, the, the same text also in my post. Um, it's much more likely that Google will pick this. So basically, I'm done. Now let's change one other thing because here I want the featured image of my post. Let's update. Um, this is our hello world as it looked before. Now let's refresh it. And this is how our hello world looks right now. Much more how we want it. So not really because there still lacks the image. So let's add a featured image here. So let's pick this one, for example, no, this one. And <clears throat> I want some more text. So let's add some text. There we go. And now I also want an image here from my media library. So let's take this one. Uh, as you see, I'm using um, Gutenberg here right now to uh, edit my blog post. <coughs> uh, let's update and have a look now. There you go. I have my background. I have my text. I have my image. Looks all nice, but there was a little bit too much text for the this section. So I'm going to copy one in. Uh, still looks a little bit large. So let's pick this one. And uh, let's change this one into a heading and update. So this looks much better. And you see, it takes your changes in the headings and everything how you ever generated your post. You can find it here. Okay, so I promised you some neat features um, to in, uh, uh, increase your SEO. So to do that, we need to 
uh, edit our post a little bit more because we need more headings. So Google knows what we are up to and that we create amazing stuff here. So for example, let's add another, uh, where is it, image? Image there. So for example, him there. Then we have a little bit yada yada. So let's take this one and make again heading two. And here, let's separate these two. And that one gets a heading two. You become a subheading three. And Yeah, let's um, see what we can do in case of format table, layout elements, columns. So I want an image here. This one, uh, this time I want one, yeah, a little bit longer. And here. Go. <coughs> Paragraphs. Yeah. Okay, now this is our blog post. So let's update. Have a look how it looks now. Okay. So this is set to large, so let's set it to medium. Okay, but that's not the concern to make this uh, Gutenberg thing look nice. Um, we want to add now some table of content. And to do that, we have already installed our little plugin to uh, do this for us. And to make it work, all we need to do is add TOC. So let's see if that works and if it's already configured how I want it to be. This is our content, looks nice. And yes, it starts with the right uh, content. So let's remove this block. Update. Okay, there was some glitch, obviously. And now what we want to do, we go to Brizzy pop-ups create a new pop-up and we call this one blog TOC. Publish and edit with Brizzy. So I'm going to choose this one there and delete everything I don't want to have. So here seems still something inside. Okay, now it's gone. Okay, then next thing I want to set it here to the to the left side. And I want to add a short code. And here comes my short code in. And next to it I set another short code. But we have to look it up because this is now is the sassy social share. So we go to shortcodes, social share, shortcode, and widget. Okay. 
The internet is a little bit slow today, obviously. Everyone's at home, working from home. Come on. There we go. By the way, this waiting time was sponsored by Vodafone. Okay. Um, here I'm going to paste my social share settings in. And here we activate the standard interface. And these are currently the things <coughs> where we share. <coughs> well, for example, we can cut this down a little bit. Um, so, mix, look what that is. Email is always good. Um, okay, this is now how I want that. So let's save these changes. And here in our uh, pop-up, I'm going to push it all the way up there. And where was... Background, no, it's all fine. Let's scroll behind, yes. Uh, we don't want to show the close button. And here we can change the width. So let's say we go to 450. Okay, so we change that, no background, and we want this opacity set to maximum. And, oh yeah, th one thing we forgot, we need to do set display conditions. So, where do I want to include it? I want to include it in all posts. Posts, all, save. Okay, um, triggers on page load, sounds good, let's see. On page load after seconds, okay, so after the page got loaded, one second later I want my pop-up to show up. And I want to trigger it every time when people visit the page. So we set our triggers, we set our conditions, we have designed the pop-up, let's hit update. <coughs> and have a look if everything works as intended. There we go. And one second later, after we, we la launched, our pop-up is here. People can see the content. Jump to the content and can share everything they want looks nice okay so after this is done we should think about um the blog page itself so currently we have no blog up here so let's create a page yeah, we currently have no blog page, so let's call this one blog. Publish. And in the reading settings, I'm going to set this one as the posts page. Common links is set, so let's add this one into our menu. About me, my work, and after my work, I want to have the blog. So let's save. Ah, yeah, 
very good to, to know. Um, you see, I added now the block into my menu, but it doesn't show up here on my page. Um, to do that, you need to edit your page one time with Brizzy. And now you see it updated here is now the block. So let's hit update. And we're done. And that's the thing you have to remember if you create your whole design, your whole theme design with Brizzy. If you make changes in the menu, you have to um, activate them once over uh, with the with help of the Brizzy uh, editor. So you need to go on a page where you have your um, menus and then it uh, reloads the, the latest version, you update the page and then everything's fine. So let's hit block and we see our blog post. It's nice, but the rest nah, doesn't fit. So again, let's jump into Brizzy templates, add a new template. And this one we call block page. And we want this included into special pages block and post page, add and publish. So add it with Brizzy. Again, we start with our global block. Then we want our hero section. And below this hero section, we want our block section. Oh no, let's remove that one and we take again our saved block so we keep our design. So let's remove that one and that and that too. And we don't need you here anymore. Um, this one we call block. Oops. Block centered all my good news. Okay, now we have here our hero section. Um, now let's add our archive. For that we choose the element archive. Archive is only available if you work in the um, template section. So this is how our archives would look. Let's change some colors, for example, the page engine so that you can actually read it. And um, this section here is a dynamic section. So whenever I change something for one thing, for example, here, I set the border now to purple, you see every border jumps instantly to purple. So that's that. Next thing I want to have a little space between these. And to make it a little more fancy. Let's go there. Change this to 15 as a little bit Careful, let's go to 50. A little bit too much. Okay. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, so let's set this one and the lower one. Nice. Okay. And then we need to fix these things here. I want their post title. You can see that the linking to your text works when you see these dotted lines below the post title. In the, in the first place when you call this in, um, it is not linked. So you see it here also with the excerpts. There's nothing underlined. And now there is. Okay, I want another thing in here. And that will be the date. Also, uh, columns and uh, spacing. Okay, that's all fine. Uh, but I want to have my 
update a little bit closer uh, to my to my post title. So let's set the margin first to zero. Okay. Minus twenty. That looks nice. Okay. So we have done that. Uh, post title date. Oh yeah, important the post title block here is our h1 and our post titles here become h2 so columns three is nice rows let's make also three so we have nine posts on one page And hit update. Oh, we forgot something. First of all, we need to change the lower color to the darker tone and add our footer. Very important. So, update again. Yeah, yeah. That's a usual message that comes up uh, in case you work with global blocks somewhere. Uh, it happens, but nothing gets, gets changed. It does, just updates the global blocks. So this is now how our blog page was looking. Let's refresh. And this is now how our blog page is looking and much better. And it fits into the rest of our page design. So there are a lot of things more you can do with the templates. And if you want <coughs> to work completely on, on your own design, um, you really should do that. For example, let's add a new template and we call this one now 404. And I want this one included into the 404 page. So if someone currently hits a page you don't have, he gets this page not found. So we want to change this one. And we do this by creating one new uh, template. And this time we change this color here into the dark tone and add our footer directly. A new image up here. Seems we don't see the page you are looking for. Seems we don't see the page you're looking for. Okay. Uh, that's a little bit large. So let's make this smaller, <coughs> centering it and to get the gag with the name and the background. So let's add a spacer. Where is the, there's the spacer. Please try a different page. Okay, so this now becomes our new 404. Let's hit update. And if we now look at our page not found section, boom. 
there we are okay so you can replace every vital page like this with uh, a fitting template as you can see you have a lot you have the front page the search page even author pages stuff like that and uh, i'm not going through everything right here you now know how you can create templates and um, that is everything we need to know about uh, the dynamic sections of uh, your website you now know how you can create templates blog posts and everything looks as it should so next uh, part of this tutorial will be configuring your website so we talk about seo and stuff like that and i'm hoping to see you there till then bye bye